Hello and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from channel listener Chiquita Shanta, Nettleton, Mississippi. Testimony and praise. About a week ago, I had a dream. I was in this field sitting on the ground, resting with my arm thrown over a log. Before me was a field of wheat ready for harvest. In the distance, I could see a critter trying to come near me, but I was so tired from laboring, I, I couldn't even gather the strength to get up and step on it. Then I saw a lion come from behind me, almost like he was prancing with a boastful look. He began to walk near this critter, not quietly, but with a dominant walk. He takes his right paw. He steps on the critter and looks at me as if to say, I told you, you are protected. And he walks back behind me so gracefully. The interpretation is clear. This is a harvest time. We are in a field of wheat. Wheat means whatever it means to mean to you. Although the enemy has tried to come near you, you are protected by the Lion of Judah. Although we're having to learn what it means to rest in his presence, we must understand that the harvest is upon us. The enemy will try to take our attention off what God has called us to do. Since this dream, I've seen where distractions have been garnering for my attention. Last week alone, offense tried to creep in. My son was in an accident, and doubt was trying to fill my mind. The testimony. Friday before the accident, the Holy Spirit beckoned me to pray for my son, to pray protection for him. Being obedient, I prayed as I always do, especially for him. What's so neat and only God? At the time that my son had the accident, I was on the phone ministering to someone else. But the prayer that was prayed Friday night, it availed much. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. My son walked out of that accident with nothing but a carpet burn from crawling out of the car. I didn't do anything but praise and worship over the phone as I was talking to the authorities who were on the scene. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God will lift up a standard against him. In this instance, the standard was the Lion of Judah and prayer. Offense has been reprimanded. Doubt has been tossed back to the sea. I remember when I moved to another state. My son was adamant about staying in our hometown. A concern was from me that I'm not near to him, that I can't get to him if something happens. And I remember the Lord saying to me when I moved, I got him, Chiquita. That has proved to be true. All the glory to the Lion of Judah. You are so worthy of my praise. Let this be an encouragement because I know a lot of us in the body of Christ were in transition. We're leaving all familiarity or harvesting what God has placed on us. He is very much all that we need him to be when we need him to be it. So don't worry. Don't worry about what or who was left. Just know God is able to make all grace abound to you. Hallelujah. What a word of encouragement. Friend, let's lift up this word in prayer as we go to the Father. Lord Jesus, what a testimony from our sister Chiquita. Lord, we are so encouraged knowing that you are a God who protects us. You are a God who gets prayers to the right people to pray when we are to stand against the enemy. Lord, I thank you and I pray for continued healing and blessing for our sister's son. Lord Jesus, may we know you to be who you are, that you would be proved to be true. I I love how you said to our sister, you said, I got him. Lord, what do you have for me? What do you have for my friend? What are those areas, friend, that we know God is looking at us saying, I got you. You are protected. I told you, you are protected. Lord Jesus, we praise you. You are worthy of all of our praise. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I thank you, Father, that you have blessed us. Father, may our lives look and reflect the awesome wonder of who you are. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.